Judd Gregg is a ranking member, uh, is the ranking member, I should say, on the Senate uh, Budget Committee, and it is our pleasure to have him with us. Good morning, Senator Gregg. Good to see you. Great to see you, Martha. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. So, you know, the word out this morning is that Senator Mitch McConnell is basically saying, you know, this will allow for limited amounts of bailouts in the future. Uh, and then I heard other critics of him say this morning that is not the case at all. W what is in this bill that concerns you? Well, first off, I don't think it ends the too big to fail policy, which is what we should do. You know, you just can't have companies where there's an implied security of the federal taxpayer, of, uh, of the American taxpayer coming in and, and bailing them out if they get into trouble financially. It, it's an inefficient use of capital. It means that the markets can't deal effectively with, with companies that are mismanaged. And companies that are mismanaged that take too much risk and get in trouble should go into uh, what basically is a bankruptcy situation where the stockholders are wiped out and the bondholders that are unsecured are wiped out. So that doesn't happen under the bill that was proposed by Senator Dodd. There is the opening left. Uh, there is the opening there for the Treasury or the FDIC to come in and basically continue those companies uh, well beyond what should be uh, their life expectancy if they've simply gotten too big to fail. They should fail. There's no question we have to end that policy. There was high hopes for there to be a bipartisan agreement on all of this. Uh, Senator Dodd and Senator Corker originally were going to get together and work on this financial reform, which really affects everybody in this country, uh, because taxpayers pay for these bailouts. And the question of whether or not yeah, they're going to happen again uh, is very much, you know, this is not a Wall Street question. This is a people question when it comes right down to it. Yeah. Uh, you have blamed the president for making this, once again, a partisan issue uh, as health care became. Explain that for me, Senator. Well, there, were, there are two paths that the administration can take here, or, or could take here. One is to actually sit down and produce a substantive bill. And there was essentially agreement on most of this. On Too Big to Fail, there was an agreement put together by Senator Carker, Republican, Senator Warner, Democrat. On derivatives, we were very close to an agreement. On the issue of systemic risk management, there was an, essentially an agreement. Regulatory oversight, there was essentially agreement. There was even agreement, pretty much an agreement, on consumer protection. All of that would be essentially agreed to. And then. Uh, the White House woke up one morning uh, about a week and a half ago or two weeks ago and said, oh, let's take the populist route. Uh, we've got to recapture our, our feet here politically, so we're just going to go out and make this, uh, make this an issue. And, you know, it's a, you know that, that's not going to work for the American well, public mean, because Senator, it's a very practical... Excuse me for jumping in, but what excuse do you mean by they yeah, woke sure. up and said we're going to take the populist route? What do you mean by that? Well, they, they essentially decided to make this a political debate as versus a substantive debate, and they, they, they have moved from being responsible in their proposals and working towards an agreement and a compromise, which had basically been worked out on most of the big issues. Literally, we had worked out most of these agreements in the, in the Senate now, the uh, to basically is, taking a hard, very hard line that is very much a political position as versus a, a good position from the standpoint of making Main Street more solvent and giving people on Main Street the chance to get loans. Well, well, let me posit that this is a little bit of what you're getting at here. Uh, the idea that, you know, that Republicans will stick up for Wall Street uh, and that Democrats won't, uh, you know, is that, does that get to the heart of, of where this is coming down? Yeah, obviously they think that they can posture the Republican Party as being for Wall Street and that they can play the populist card of being against Wall Street. Ironically, the bill that, the, the bill that they're supporting, the Dodd bill, is much more supportive of Wall Street than the Republican proposal, which was put mm. together, not Republican, but the bipartisan proposal put together by Senator Corker and Senator Warner, which would have required an end to too big to fail. There would have been no question about it. The Dodd proposal leaves a lot of questions on that issue out there. So they're, they're trying to spin this, but actually the substance of their position doesn't support their spin. All right. Well, this is a hot debate, and we're going to stay right on top of it. It is the central uh, sort of domestic policy issue of, of the moment. Senator Gregg, it's always good it to is. have you with us. Thanks very much, sir. Uh, Martha, Thank why you.